Welcome to my nightmare. Welcome <laughs> to Tears of a Clown, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your patience. Uh, I had a little bit of some tech uh, stuff going on, but we are ripping and rocking, and uh, the team is a tight, chipped <laughs> crew of pirate people, uh, non-binary. Uh, Carolina, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me again. I know I asked. There you go. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you for being a friend. There you go. Yes, we said I it immediately. Wait. Welcome and Jake. The Hold reason for the disease. <laughs> Welcome. I am standing tall on the wings of a dream. Rise and fall. On the wings of my dream. It's, uh, wait. Oh, yeah. The rain and thunder, <laughs> the wind and haze. I'm bound for better days. It's my life and my dream. Nothing's going to stop me now. Wow. That was yeah. so good, dude. That was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was wow. so good. We we Feel Webster, free to do the dance meet of the Webster. <laughs> He's a boy that lives with the rich family. <laughs> From the I don't know where, and he's very funny. And he's the got family. a weird boy disease. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That was my theme song that I chose beforehand to sing. Carolina, what's your theme song that you chose to sing before we started this? It is always uh, if you threw a party, and mm. uh, wait, 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 what? Fuck. You invite, I, I, invited there's everyone no way I'm you helping knew. you right now. Invited this, I, everyone you knew. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. You would see that the biggest gift would be from me, and that gift is to you. God damn it. That's so great. Close enough. That's, That's just the best poem I've ever heard <laughs> Thank of uh, you. Carolina. God. <coughs> really quick. Blanche loved to <laughs> fuck people. That's really all quick. she did. Really fun. We got she Carrie Joe. A lot. We got Carrie Joe Euler's number. We got uh uh thank you so much for the subs. So many more people subbed like while we were waiting. Gloomy ghost. Jake Carolina, dot 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 in lowercase hi Holden. You know, I'll take it. We've got um but we've also got uh, Big Lug69 says, Holden, you've got the fattest, funnest cock in the business. So, you know, wow. people are saying different aspersions and being nice in different ways. So there you the go. The whole business, Holden. That's yeah. impressive. That is high praise. Big Lug, too. That that one, that one. guy's seen a lot of them. I know that. I've, I've got it on good authority. But I feel I feel crazy. This is one of those days where I, like, I've only been talked to a toddler all day, and I don't know how to talk to people. I feel like I'm just coming out of, like, quarantine and going to like a, a day, you know, an outdoor festival for the first time in 2021 or whatever it is. That is true. When you came in earlier, you did tell me to watch Love is Blind about four times. Yeah, I kept going, watch Love is Blind, watch Love is Blind. Then I was like, I'm the paper man. See what I can do. And I tried to rip myself. I tried to rip my arm like it was a piece of paper until Carly was like, you can stop. It's not going to happen. You can't just be a paper man. That's not how shit works. No. Carolina... We did the 90s sitcoms. Yes. Uh, and I think, you know, maybe people had some chagrin. I was shocked that we ranked Friends at F, but it seemed like people and, were cool with completely cool with it. So. But you understand, like, I, I do remember getting at least one message, and I think there was something posted about it. I, I believe I was blamed for killing Matthew Perry for putting him um, in yeah, the tier. Yeah, that was, that's right, yeah. completely, because that happened yeah. not long after? Yeah, yeah I don't think like we would have ranked than a it week later. I think we would have given it a pity ranking, probably. It, it yeah. seems like the odds are that we may kill someone, you know, considering it's an 80s sitcom. I don't blame you for Zeth. I think I'd probably blame <laughs> ketamine, is okay. probably what I would blame. I'm third well, on the actually, list. Actually, speaking of human tragedy, we should actually acknowledge, like, 
half of these sitcoms have horrible people in them that have like <laughs> revealed themselves to sure. be just like monsters and yes. I don't know how we're going to deal with this. I don't know why you even put it on the list. We'll talk about it. Later. Oh, yeah. I because mean, it's absence it would with Streisand the effect. The big C, the big C. <laughs> yeah. But before we even get any further, can we please I can't even believe we we haven't gotten fucking clowny up in this bitch, Tierzo. <laughs> how you doing today? Can you yeah. smell what Tirzo is cooking tonight? Whoa. I would have saved that one for the wrestler episode, oh. but all right. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Oh. And oh. confused at it's best. Ill intent. Ill intent. Uh, That's what Tirzo is cooking tonight. If people didn't know, by the way, we're ranking 80s sitcoms. We're ranking 80s. American sitcoms. Yes, abs- absolutely. Mm. American sitcoms. We're not going to do Japanese sitcoms because <laughs> that's fucking insane, bro. Why would we have? <laughs> well, we have to remember. We are overdue I, I was for not an anime episode. You guys True. definitely are, but we, we also should. have to remember. I w- I was not raised in America, and these eighty sitcoms are a bit before my time. So a lot of this is from Nick at Night, and um, you, you know, remember the eighties, eighties, you know, all that VH1 shows. But I've been watching a lot of them, so I have them all in my head. Can you give us a couple of famous Mexican sitcoms? Do we have any Carousel? Good ones? Carousel? Yeah, that was one where you know the the adults were dressed as children. Oh, the school one. Oh. Yeah. Oh, a cla- so that's it. a sitcom. I don't even know what that's like. A, a vod. I, that was like an old vaudeville. And act. then there's Can like I? ten more other spinoffs, like CSI. You know, same idea. <laughs> Just I was going to say group. is yeah. all, when I think of Mexican <laughs> comedic comedic television shows, I think of adults dressed as little kids. Was that one just the biggest one, or you're saying there were like 10 of them all sprung? That one was the biggest one, and then there were a bunch of other imitation ones, of course. That's you know, amazing. They do a lot of those. And then, of course, there's Chespirito, which is the, he's like the bumblebee guy from Simpsons, which was right. a lot of people if, <laughs> recognize him from. I mean, yes. not, not, not to make you be the voice of a people, but what <laughs> is it about messing <laughs> people and watching adults dressed as children slash also, though, very sexy ladies and then yeah. adults. Yeah. It's, kind it, of... it, co- it came from vaudeville. It, yeah. it just it just did. And then there were cameras. And then, like, it just it hasn't left yet. Stand up is a new thing still. Right. Uh, it, it, I, you know, it will, uh, we will catch up. Yeah. Like, catch a, up like a man say, dressed like an old lady. Although, now I've seen everything. That's re- still kind of funny. I have to admit, <laughs> like, there are some still really, really funny parts of <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, one of the themes I noticed with all these 80 sitcoms, though, is the predominance of kids and families. Uh-huh. And, mm-hmm. like, I really struggled to catch up. I watched Mr. Belvedere. I watched Small Wonder. I watched Charles in Charge. I watched uh, Golden Girls. I watched Tears. I, like, really tried to get into this mindset. And the more kids on screen, the le- the worse it holds up. It's like really, yeah. it was just, if a child was on screen going like, <laughs> oh, don't go there, I'll call my warrior, and then just like pause for laughter for a minute straight from the audience. Just <laughs> a shitty child actor saying something vaguely adult was just the comedy crack cocaine of that era. Well, and I think it's, it's probably because it was the boomers, right? And the boomers all mm. went were having families at that exact time. They were doing cocaine, they were trading stocks, <laughs> and they were having kids and not paying attention mm. to them uh, at all. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They were completely, you know, but that was the fair. It was just like norm, very normal family. Well, I guess without further ado, I mean, Carolina knows how this works. We mm-hmm. all got our veto balloons and all that good stuff. Um, we're locked. We're loaded. We're ready to rock. Uh, please, uh, please sub to the channel. Well, that's too many b- b- balloons. <laughs> how do I Whoa. hold all these balloons? I love how overwhelmed Tirso is by two <laughs> balloons. That is just... <laughs> so, Listen, nobody... <laughs> Nobody in the entire last podcast network has good fine motor skills. We know this about ourselves. Mr. Shanks, thank you so much for the sub. I was just about to scream about it. Please, please, for the fucking love of all that's holy, let the boy sleep at your house. I mean, come on what? now. I'm sorry, I was doing old SNL Adam Sandler or Chris Farley bit. No. Uh, just let me stay in, just let me stay in your house. Uh, Polish Godzilla Gaming, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Please sub to the channel, mash that sub button. You can hit it with 
your knees or your elbows. Just whatever you do, fucking click on it. It's five dollars. I get it. We, you know what I mean. None of us can afford a house, but just five dollars <laughs> a month, and you get emotes, and and it puts a little piece of pie in my child's mouth. Okay, mm-hmm. so good. Think about that. We're talking meat pies. Okay, we're talking blood <laughs> pies. Here, Zo. Uh, Are jokes. you raising Thank your you child so much. British? Is that what we just learned? A little bit. I've been raised. Yeah. I, every time I go home, I'm like, "Hello, good day to you," and all that good stuff. Uh, uh, Boy, we had a cracking good stream tonight. You get it put in with your meat pie. Well, without further ado, all of that said, I thought that was a great British accent. I, it is. I, it was wonderful. I, it was wonderful. Yeah, you're very Cockney. All right, without for, without the cock. All right, without further ado. <laughs> The first one of the night. What do we got? What's okay. the first show on the docket? Oh, <gasps> oh Alf. Oh, boy. Alf. Alf, mm. I'm sure doesn't hold up, but I just love it as a relic. I love that it exists. Mm-hmm. Just like I love, you know, like right now we're studying Beanie Babies and Pogs. And I know I'm thinking a lot about Alf because, you know, Alf now in Pog form, which is the Simpsons. But Alf is, is the 80s to me. Mm-hmm. It's so dumb. It's mm-hmm. so needless. It makes no yes. sense as a concept. It was yeah. definitely conceived of in Vegas after a night with a sex worker with a pile of cocaine on the table. That was how they came up with that idea. There's no other way. I, we we're definitely going to do an Alpha episode at some point, too, because uh, classically now we all know that the shooting of it was a fucking nightmare. It was awful yes. for everybody involved. The father character, he uh, was so uncomfortable making that show because apparently there was also all these weird setups because of the puppetry angle. So you're constantly... Like, like imagine like a subfloor winding yeah. its way across mm-hmm. the entire set so that the puppeteer could like stand and hold the puppet so people would bust their ass constantly. It was a death trap. Yeah, and so everyone was constantly getting injured and the the big the great story is is that the day that the the day that the uh the shooting ended, the they and it was a lot of episodes by the way. It was one of those like I think they hit 100 episodes on that. And the day it ended, the dad guy, I forgot the actor's name, he Max just Powers. he didn't say a word to anyone. He just like got his shit and got in the car and fucking left. Yes. Yes, and, and then he got a DUI like he, not long after. I that. love that. Of course he did. I, I have to say, <laughs> I, uh, I I'm favorable on this show personally. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm probably wouldn't go lower than a B on this show. Um, I, wow. I I like that it exists. I don't think it's mm-hmm. good, but I love that it exists. And I guess at this point with the 80s sitcoms, yes, we're we're gonna be grading on quality and stuff. We have mm. some good shows on here. But we're also gonna have to go, go, you know definitely vote on a curve based on you know rapists starring in the show, but also <laughs> like you know just it being in hindsight, uh, you know, a, a, a silly thing to look back on. So I'm favorable on now. I, I could. Go lower than I a B, but that's where I'm at. I okay. support the B tier, and my wow. reasoning is um, <laughs> there's this weird thread in 80 sitcoms where it's like uh, Out of This World or Small Wonder or Alf or just like these gonzo premises where just this unlikely being is in the home with an American family. And all of them suck. All of them are needlessly complicated. All of them ha- are like, this. it's just, he's just doing like kind of a vaguely bad Rodney Dangerfield. He's just like, <laughs> oh, get a load of this yes. guy. Ha cha cha cha. Like, it's nothing. There's no reason for him to be an alien. I like that he eats cats. Cause you know, that is, I don't well, he like never him. Really I know. Does he just says he does? Yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently, they have a so, bunch of cats in Melmac that they they, they all eat. <laughs> of the Supposedly. weird Gonzo concept eighty shows, this I feel like is the strongest entry. So B, wow. I feel like is fair. I'm willing to go lower, Carolina. But what 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 do you? I'm going to go say? lower. I'm going to go a lot lower because I got the DVD. I think I got it in a um, you know <laughs> moving away from a, a roommate or something. I got it season season one, season two. Watch both seasons in like. 2009 and it did not age well then Mm. and it was not funny then (laughs) it was horrible but when i was a little kid i remember being like this is cutting edge brilliant stuff (laughs) (laughs) so i'm gonna give it a c 
because it's not <laughs> I'm embarrassed I'm embarrassed about what, whatever eight year old me watched it when it was on syndication Carolina somewhere. you're our guest I don't want to cause too much of an issue of course that's two B's to one C but I'm willing to pop it into a C because you're right it is a dumb show are you willing to go <laughs> with me on more that first hand uh, you have more first hand experience I'm willing to cede your expertise alright let's give it a C let's give okay. it a C I love how you're like I'm going to go a lot lower than a B I'm going to give it a C <laughs> <laughs> you won't regret it. Right, you won't what? regret it. I was thinking D, but then you guys kept talking. And I, we would have compromised to a C. Exa- I'm sure. Exactly. This is where we meet. In smart the play. Yeah. Smart play. All right. What, what's what's next on the docket here? I didn't oh, even know. Oh, family. All the family. Is that on the family? Family ties. Family ties. Family ties. Family ties was you know. I mean, it gave us Michael J. Fox. Yeah, you and know? Michael Grossman what? from Tremors. Whoa. <laughs> 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 family. What the now? hell? On the family, by the way, yeah, that's a crazy thing for me to say, um, but whatever. Uh, uh, I, I watched this. I watched this recently. It was um, it was a very Justine Bateman heavy episode because her new boyfriend Ricky was a real piece of shit, and it tore the family asunder. But it is so weird. Like I cannot see Michael J. Fox as an actual teenager. He is just Michael. It's, it feels like a Back to the Future spinoff. Well, and, 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 and <laughs> yeah. they brought up a good thing. Is the joke was that he was like a young re- conservative, right? Yeah. That was kind of the whole thing. And so his he kind of his like character was, hippies. yeah, his character was kind of a, a kid acting to like kind of adultish in, in a yeah. way. That was like kind of the joke. He had a brief kind case. of an asshole. Yeah. He was just kind of an asshole who wore a suit casually around the house. I, like, at no point did he, like, talk about the merits of a flat tax in the episodes I watched. Yeah, yeah. I know my gaff with all in the family, by the way. It's it's completely idiotic. <laughs> they t- I know, and there's the abortion well, episode, all right? I get that it. It's game changing. You're not that off. It's the, uh, <laughs> you know, the, 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 the political disagreement in a household. It's just okay. got it mixed mm-hmm. up. Yes. Uh, I don't know. You guys are kind of weighing me back down on this one. Again, I was like, oh, Family Ties is a classic. You know, it's, it's, uh, uh yeah, well, it's, it's, I, think uh, it's I will good. say the set, the set is incredible. It's like, uh, wait, babe, we're going to rank stuff on the set. The, 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 the Keatons live in. It's a craftsman. It's an American craftsman. It's got a great vibe. <laughs> We're not ranking on sets here. No. We're ranking on, I don't it's know a what. Me- it's a metric. It's a metric. All right. I think it's better than fucking Alf, right? I mean, I think we give it, it a B. I'm going to give it a B. All right. I'd say we'll give it a B. It's solid. I remember every time I'd watch it, yeah, throw it on the B. Throw it on the B. <laughs> mm-hmm. Every time I would I would uh, uh, watch it, I'd always be like uh, having a good time. It was reminds me of Chicken Pox, that show. You know, it reminds <laughs> me of having the Chicken Pox, being in my grandparents' house, uh, watching that. And I always had a good time. Like mm-hmm. Spoons. Now there's a show. All right, what do we got next? Oh, who's oh, the boss? Who's the boss? Yes. Uh, classic. Yes. Classic. Um, oh, I like this one. I haven't okay. seen it in a few years, though. You lead it. Take it. Oh, man. Well, who is the boss? Now, we all know <laughs> it's... Do we ever find out, by the way? Do we ever figure out who the boss is? There by was the a whole episode of Community. <laughs> yes, there was. There oh, was okay. a, and it's Tirzo. It was, it was Tirzo <laughs> all along, which is where she's always been here. Tirzo also shot JR. The yeah. weird fact about Tirza. I heard about that with Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know who's the boss. I do remember it being very charming. Again, it's uh, it, that's all it is you, in these '80s sitcoms. You're falling on the charm of the leads. That's the basic. Mm-hmm premise right of sitcoms i figured it out yes okay i like it i think it's good (laughs) i Uh, mean it's got the danza now were you were you uh ogling the danza no not really it's not my type but but i can see why i can see why he was very is your type maybe a more like gangly ghoulish sort of uh skeletal i like an iggy pop young (laughs) guy with yeah with cuts and burns for no reason like why do you have a burn on the back of your knee like what is even that no no willie ames willie Ames from Charles in Charge. I can tell. I can tell. Wow. I know. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd fuck Tony Danza. Who's the boss? I think is also mm-hmm. kind of another. B- I feel like all these '80s shows are just gonna get a B out of me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know a They're lot just of B them are. As fuck. Yeah. Well, I wanna. I wanna Tony enter. Yeah, I wanna. It, I got something to say about who's the boss. Please. Is I was so horny for the grandma in that show. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, she's great. Eric. My God! Wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to be. I thought it was gonna be like, 
it was a it was a game changer. Look they would her, really get beautiful. into d- deep family dynamics, all that kind of stuff. Wow. Um, but yeah, people are really into it. People also want to fuck the grandmother in chat, so that's she good. She was great. Uh, wasn't she uh, My Complication had a complication lady? Yeah. Yeah, from Brazil. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, she's fantastic. <laughs> I, I, I'll go with Eric on this one. <laughs> All right. So where does that put it? Are we going A with who's the boss? It arbitrary A just because Eric like... wants to fuck the grandmother? Yes, yes, All right, I'll give it up. Right. Right. I yeah, wouldn't even give it to the grandmother. Why not? Do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There you go. Um, that's where we're at. All right, we're going I'm not going to lie. This next one, I, I peeked ahead. I never saw a single episode of this. I think it has the shortest run of any sitcom on this list. But Tom Hanks is wearing a wig. All right, oh, what do we got? Bosom what is this? Bosom buddies. <laughs> Bosom buddies. This- again, you know, again, we've got young Tom Hanks, kind of like Michael J. Fox. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and Peter Scolari, may he rest in peace. Yeah. Um, yes. A lot of people died on that show. Not during that show. Did he also like die? Decades from, later. He yes. also died from ketamine? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Something different. No, no. These people are already dead. We can't kill them again. All right. Yes. All right. Uh, Boys and Buddies, you know, it's Tom Hanks. I don't know. Short run, I guess. But it did give us. Uh, and if not without Tom, we wouldn't have Chet. Without Chet, we wouldn't have a white guy doing patois on Instagram and TikToks for no, you know, as, as a Nepo baby, you know? Mm-hmm. Man, they need to study him as like a, a, mm. as the only person who fumbled the Nepo baby back. Oh, I mean, I it's know. crazy. What? How He's do you need to do it? He's doing wonderful for He's himself. doing great. He's, he was, uh, uh, no. He's doing He's better not than doing... Colin Hanks at this point. Did you see the video wow. when the cops show up? He's his, him and his girlfriend were just um, bloodying each other. Jake, it's not going well. No such thing as bad publicity my I'll friend. tell you what he drops that patois real quick at the when he's talking to the cops um <laughs> what was I gonna say I don't know dude I, I don't agree know, with no tears up. this is such a bad this I feel I feel fucked on this one I don't know puzzle buddy buddies very well um I I watched 10 episodes last night um wow. I went home from work early wow. all right so yeah. Carolina you get a free ranking on this one. Whatever you say is whatever we're going to give this one. I get booked for something, I do it right. So I watched it. <laughs> and I got I watched it from episode one to find out why they had to be in drag. You know you didn't need to watch ten fucking episodes, though, bro. <laughs> you know you didn't need to do I that. I am meticulous. She did. She did. <laughs> and I felt bad that I missed 30 other episodes because I think it made it to like two seasons. Like you said, it didn't last very long. But Tom Hanks and Peter Scolari's uh, friendship lasted for Forever. Scolari until, brothers. Until the Scola- one of the Scolari brothers unfortunately passed away a few yeah. hours, a few hours, a few years ago from <laughs> cancer. But when I watched the show, it was really fun. It was, I mean, the, the whole premise of it, of them having to be in drag for them to live in a women's hotel because they don't really have a place to stay and they don't have any money, all that business. Like, it it was a lame idea, and even Tom Hanks was talked into, like, don't worry about it, we'll just kind of forget about the whole premise. I know you don't know the answer to this on. question, but did, like, had Tootsie come out yet? Not yet. No, okay. this was before, oh, really? the, re- the, before really? the whole, made it, before they made it cool, right? Yeah. Uh, or comedy-wise. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's- Except for things. It's like a, yeah, I know. Kelly and I completely disagree. Mexicans have been doing this concept since the 60s. Ever. Dressing like women. <laughs> and I have to say, I, I thought it was really cute, really fun. Um, a little too much about, like, them questioning their masculinity, but that's fine. Mm. It's no big deal. It was like 1981 when they filmed this whole thing. And um, I'm going to give it, like, a solid B. Whoa, a B? I was yeah. so right. totally expecting okay. a shittier ranking. Mm-hmm. B. B. Shit, I gotta watch this thing. All right, it's, it's re- very. What, uh, what platform was it on? Give it a B. Remember? Better than Al- B for better than Alf. I I think I found it on. I just Google platform. It. It's just on. Oh, I meant originally. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, what do we got next? Three channels only. <laughs> <laughs> we got a fucking weird old man in the studio, oh. Jake. I'm sorry. To- <laughs> nice. Uh, Charles in charge. Who's the boss? New it's Charles in this neighbor. episode, in this season, but in this series. But downstairs and it's understood. He's there just to take good care of me. Like he's part of the family. People Charles are- in charge uh-huh. of our days. And our nights. Take it away, Carolina. Oh, it's because... Charles in charge. 
Sorry. No, it's okay. No, did you know the rest? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I, I just watched it for the first time today. Just do what I do. Just make up the next set of lyrics are about cocks and stuff. That's all you do. Charles in charge. He's got a dumb cock. His name. He names it uh, Lindsay. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> All right. I, okay, everyone's saying low because I guess Scott Bayo is like a nightmare person in real life. What did he, he do? Not he's, a oh, he's a MAGA guy, first of all. Oh, okay. Yeah, but not, not Cosby levels, not, you know, uh, right? No. Or no? <laughs> no, no, he's not. I mean, I, as far as I know, he's not that bad. Um, on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. People in chat will definitely, yeah, they, feel, they as, think you're evil now. As far as I know, <laughs> I have no evidence. Carolina, of it's time to do an internet apology with Carolina. <laughs> Try to put some water in your eyes right before you start, too. I didn't know. Oh, I mean, I do know he has really bad takes. Okay. He's yes. got bad takes. Yes. And blah, 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 law blog, though. Yeah. That's oh. great. All right. That no, was hilarious. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. You're right. Um, on 30 Rock. But, and that was the last thing he really did until he started doing like, dinner theaters. There you go. Now people are asking where you were January 6th. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. Watching but. Charles in Charge, <laughs> of course, in the back of a, a van. I, I will say, uh, I, I did a little bit of background because I watched a ton of Charles in Charge as a kid. It was just one of those shows in syndication that I just like binged or just like mindlessly watched. And I remembered nothing i remember nothing <laughs> yes. not a single plot not a single character i just remember scott bale was cool and his friend uh i already forgot the character's name but it's willie Ames, aka bible man buddy his buddy was named buddy goddamn yeah um, by the way i made a gaffe and everyone's being totally weird about it in chat again it wasn't 30 rock it was arrested development the other cute yes. show that everyone yes. watches and thinks they're so smart because they watch it all right <laughs> what's the holding <laughs> Holden, don't dig your own grave further challenge. Cats it's fucking impossible. suck. Own a dog if you want to own a real animal. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Indiana's for morons. Oh my God. Anyway, Charles in charge. <laughs> You're Charles in charge. I'm sorry. Season Tears one. Crying. I'm sorry, Tears up. Uh, Season one had a completely different family from the rest of the seasons. And episode one of, se of season two... Charles returns to the house, essentially the exact same set, and a new family is living there, and they're like, oh, the old family moved to Seattle, but hey, since you're here, why don't we hire you to do the exact same thing the old family did, exactly as you did before, and he's like, cool, and they just go from the races from there. That which is I think is amazing. bizarre yes. and great. Because I really like the first family. I really like yeah. first family. I really like the fucking uh uh which the theme song. The theme Two. song is great. It's not as great as Cheers. Cheers has the Nothing. best theme theme oh, song. Oh yeah, in Cheers the world. is an ass yesterday. Yeah. We'll get to it. Yeah. But I mean best pilot and series finale of all time is just one of the things you can say about it. Yeah. Uh, all right. I think Charles in Charge had its due. Mm -hmm. I'm. Uh, uh, I think oh, it's such man. a fucking B again to me. I guess if we, uh -huh. we can't. The idea of ranking it at the same tier of Who's the Boss when it is just a blatant knockoff of Who's the Boss is, I find hilarious. I kind of want to vote it A, but right. I understand <laughs> that A. It's not that good. It's, it's not. not yeah, it. but it's better. Then Alf. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, give it, it is a better. Yeah. It's better than Alf. I'll give it that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do we fuck up putting Alf in C? <laughs> if Alf should have been D. <laughs> well, I you have a veto it. balloon, Carolina. Can I use it? Can, can I do this? Yeah, you I go think I it. need to. Yeah, I go think ahead and do it. It's really important to do Put this. Put Alf in a D. Because I keep saying, well, it's better, than, it's better than Alf. And then I'm just like, you know, uh, and then why is it at C then? All right. All I'm right. going to do this. I'm going to take Alf back down. Here I think we that'll go. give us some Cs. Did we right. finally give uh, <laughs> Tirso a pin budget? We gave yeah. Tirso a thumbtack. Oh. Your first material <laughs> possession. <laughs> there we go. I all think right. it's best. I think it's best for all of us involved. All right. Let's do it. Uh, uh, love to see it. All right, let's move on to. Uh, oh. uh, I love designing women. The first season is fantastic, but by the fourth season, it let's just say there's enough things that are problematic that you kind of drop off. What That's is pro what Ooh, what falls? I've just explain. in general. Uh, well, it just gets really weird. Um, 
There's a weird Christian episode that's very odd, mm. and then and then when uh, Delta Burke uh, performed in blackface for an episode, <laughs> oh, yeah. I kind of left on, it on Googling, pause. Googling, Googling, and then extremely quickly. I never finished it, but the first season was fantastic because Dixie Carter was she was really good at tearing someone down. Well, they called her the Machine Gun for a reason, uh, but yes. Um, the wow. black face kind of, kind of, you kind of drop off. Let's just say the episode is called "The Rowdy Girls." <laughs> yes, and wow. I watched it. I watched it like holy shit. Wow! And, and, but Meshach Taylor is fantastic. Even though the the unfortunate thing is Meshach Taylor was like right next to Delta Burke while she was doing the black face. Uh-huh. So it was. Mm-hmm. I'm sure the whole thing was just very uncomfortable. Tear so knows. You yes. know, I get it. She you was know, there. but I mean, yeah, back in the day, though, I mean, everybody was doing it. My dad would. Uh, they black had face? blackface Fridays at my dad's. Office it's not cocaine. <laughs> Black face. <laughs> there All it right. is. Oh my God, you found Jesus it. Christ. You see what I mean? Form. I guess it's a D. I can't believe we're giving designing li- women a low rank. I, I see. I say we give it a C. It's better than Alf. All right, I'll give it a it's- C. Uh, yeah. For sure, but um, it, yeah, the first season should have been a, an A, should have been. But I'm going to mm-hmm. give the show an overall a C. Yeah. There you go. Also, just uh, it is true. It is the last day of Black History Month, so I'm glad we we got it in there. <laughs> Let's get to the Cosby's next. Uh, all right, thank you so much. There's the C. Let's move on. What do we got next here? What do we got next here? Oh, oh, different strokes. I, again, I, I, but I, last time I said this about designing women, so I'm afraid that one of them, like, killed a bunch of, like, orphans in a bank. But <laughs> I liked different strokes. I have good, fond memories of Amazing different strokes. Amazing theme song. Yes. Amazing theme song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now the I world don't move to the beat of just one drum. What might be right for you may not be right for some. Amazing. Incredible. Love it. I love it. I love everything about it. I think all the actors are fantastic. The lines are great. Everything's adorable. I'm going to give it an A. That's it. Wow. I'm sorry. That was all so right. soon, right? We didn't even get into it. I was so yeah. excited about it. We didn't even talk it. about season five, episode 16, 17, a very special episode, The oh, Bicycle that... Man. Oh, that's uh, right. Arnold, uh, along with his friend Dudley, are targeted by a pedophile who owns a <laughs> local bike shop who had <laughs> abused children in the past. Luckily, Arnold's would-be abuser is arrested after he tells his father. Good. You see, you know, it works out in the and end. And by father, yeah. I mean weird rich guy that just kind of took him, I guess, adopted. I don't quite know. And- they get drunk and molested, says Six Squirrel. I don't know if that's true. Um... All I right. Remember well, that scene. On that, that weird note. <laughs> wow. Oh, there it is. Wow. Oh my God, it was that guy. I think it was on an episode of Golden Girls. That guy really. That is a good casting, though. That yeah. is a good casting. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just the in the classified ads are like looking for man older. Uh, just got. Got that kind of face that makes you look, like just know immediately he's bad. Man. Wow, do they really get any feeds them alcohol? That's amazing. This is the real that 70s show. Uh, <laughs> I have to go with, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with you. You said A? I did say A. I I'm cool with A. Are you cool with A, uh, Jake? I'm cool with A. All right, what does that glass of tequila say, though? Let's give it an A. <laughs> yeah. It's mostly seltzer. It's oh, mostly seltzer. Correct. And there's ice cubes in there. That's that's <laughs> yeah. slowly diluting it. Um, and yeah, Gary Coleman, of course, fantastic. Yes. Um, they all if were. Only they were for all his fantastic. Performance in Postal Two, of course. Yes, absolutely. Uh, all right. Next up. Oh my God! All right. Uh, all right. I, I watched this. this. I watched this. Small wonder is the tale of a uh, family man inventor who creates a robotic daughter and brings her home to be uh, their live-in servant slash child. And the girl speaks like a kid doing, like, hello there, I am doing a robot voice. Like, every line she says like this up until the end, and it's fucking insane. The episode I watched with my beautiful partner, Marie, uh, involved... The girl getting uh, going to her neighbor's house, who then teaches her how to misbehave. Stuff like, 
I don't want to sleep in the cupboard anymore. I want to sleep on a bed and I want an allowance. Just like basic human dignity. And they're like, Jesus Christ, something's wrong with our robot daughter. So they <laughs> disassemble her and reprogram her and they show a suitcase full of disembodied oh limbs. My God. And they're like, don't worry, I'll fix her. The cops call her, <laughs> are called on them because they're like, hey, where did your daughter go? Like, uh, we haven't seen her in a couple of days. And they have to stall the police while they, like, put her back together. It is a fucking Cronenbergian nightmare. And on top of that, the show is g awful, unfunny, terrible. Oh. Just well, let me worst. Let me ask you this. In real, the, did the star of the show, the dad, in real life, uh, mm -hmm. drug several women in order to sleep with them? <laughs> Uh, no. Hey! S tier. Quantum tits. Thank quantum you so tits. Much. Oh Thank you for breaking God. up the tension oh there. God. Thank you for the five gifted sub. And you know what that means, quantum tits? I don't even think you know what that means. That means you get a fucking veto balloon of your own. Oh, That's no right. Way. You can move up or down anything you want. We only have, what, two for the night? Two for the night. There's one right there. Cool. Quantum tits. Enjoy your, your balloon. Um, It sounds like this is an F. Show. F. I am yes. I'm pushing okay. hard for F. I don't even remember the name of, of the show. I think it's like Small Shitty. Wonder. Yeah, this is probably the only one where I don't even know the name. Uh, yeah, let's hit it. Mm -hmm. I don't even know yeah. the name. I know, at least in the other shows I might be less familiar with, I've heard the fucking title before. So and and, and the, the picture too. And I love the cigarette smoking uh, <laughs> scene. But uh, besides that. Let uh, her smoke. She's a robot. She's a robot. She can yeah. smoke. She's not going to fuck her. I mean, it might this actually is, fuck her. This is up, how but. bad the show is. I could only find it on YouTube. <laughs> There's just a weird, a bunch of weirdos that like nobody wants to take ownership of this thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's move past. Let's get beyond it. Mm hmm. The Ooh, facts of life. Oh, you take the now, bad. This song. Uh, this song. This, and hey, a, 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 a black great. person again. So that's good. Oh, Tootie, she's fantastic. Uh, this <laughs> this show is amazing. I remember Nick at Night. I remember watching this. It, it, it just, even though, even when they did the revamp, which I wasn't all on board with because I like the younger kids, it is Absolutely, hands down, fantastic. Pippino says Ray. Joe. Goals, Pippin, goals. Pippino says Joe was our fat queen, which I love. People are loving Joe in chat. Yes, absolutely. Natalie was the one. I was Natalie. You know, everyone was someone in the group, and I was definitely Natalie. Yeah, um, loved her, but I wanted to be Blair, but I could never be Blair. I, I think I was one of the facts. That was, I don't know what's going on. I'm just riffing here. You're Charlotte Ray. <laughs> All I remember All right. is that one-off family guy joke where Peter becomes a giant <laughs> pair of boobs and says, girls, girls. That's all I know. Right. I remember that. Woman. I do remember that joke. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. next week, by the way. We're, we're going to do tears for family guy jokes. <laughs> family guy cutaway jokes. It's going to be rough. It's going to be a rough one. It's going to be a lot 9, of Fs. 9,803. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Eric's out. Eric's out. Um, all right, then we're high on this one. Mm -hmm. I say you lead us here, Carolina, with with your initial uh, instinct, your thoughts. Right. Well, of course, if it's if it's something that I can come from my intuition, I'm going to say A. It's going to absolutely Ooh. say A. I'm cool with yeah, it, go Jake. With are you? Do you confirm A? I, I I yield to the expertise of our guest. All right, there you go. There's some <laughs> lovely ghosts. Reclaiming ghosts. my time. All right. What do we got next? Now, now, now we're in the groove. Yes, I'm excited. We need to start shitting on more stuff. Oh, Night dude. Court. Uh, okay, <laughs> this is where I come in. I yes. fucking love Night Court. Same. I love Bull. I love the magic tricks. I loved everything about it. I liked all the characters. Mm -hmm. Everybody was hilarious. I was so funny. It was the most surprisingly like funny. It kind of reminds me of Third Rock from the Sun. That it was that show mm. that was yeah. like, like way funnier than it ever should have been. The jokes were so much better, I felt like, than so many of the other shows. I just, I thought it was great. Uh, Jello Piggies, first time in chat, just to say S. So many people are saying mm. S. I think you're, you're, um, you might as well be uh, treated like a dog in the night if you don't think S on this one. I think if, if anyone says out loud. No kids, just like adults being weird and having fun and yes. doing things that like were interesting. It was shenanigans Incredible. too. It almost reminds me of like a faulty towers or something in the in the sense it was just this over the top silly workplace comedy. Yeah. You know? That's true. And Bull, 
He was my favorite. Bull he was, was so good. Bull was so yeah. fucking good. But what's his name? What's the lawyer guy on the left? I loved him. John, L- John, John Larroquette. Yeah, yeah, John Larroquette was so good. I loved everybody yeah. on that show. He was so good that I hated him when I watched it, which is the whole point. So it, I think he did yeah. great. And Marky Post, of course, she was fantastic. All, all these people are dead, which is unfortunate. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, like, all but one. But, uh, but they were amazing. They're all comedians, I believe. So, fantastic. And Marky Post, she started as a producer, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah, on Game Show. So, are we saying S? Are we saying S for Night Court? Is that I our think first so. I'm so glad yeah. you guys are so into Night yeah. Court like I am. I love Night Court. Let's give it an S. Yes. Again, did you watch the, uh, have you seen the re- redo on that? They they, no. they put out a Is new Night Court, like, recently. Is it any good it's at all? It's a female judge. Okay. I know that, which was whatever. That doesn't change anything. I but think Tirzo likes it. Tirzo likes it. Yeah. Tirzo says it's okay, yeah. Okay. So. All right, I'm into it. I'm into it. Right. I didn't know, because that also could have been the symbol of Tirzo showing everyone that Tirzo's a part of the alt-right. Oh, no, Tirzo I'm just saying, to go home that is now. the alt-right. Yes. Uh, yeah, just yeah, that is. So I couldn't tell whether that was what that was. Uh, all right, cool. That was an S. Let's, yeah, now I'm feeling, I'm feeling positive. Yeah. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Can we jump to the tier list and uh, stay on it for just a second? I just want to see something. Yeah, not a lot of lows. I'm kind of surprised here as we move uh, through this list. Not a ton of like, uh, yeah. No, 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 he is Tears our Jesus. He is our Christ. I see Tearzo's hand right now moving right. on the computer. Uh, what's next? Ooh, I think I see what's next. Is it Miss, Miss Mr. Belvedere? Oh, okay. Now I love Child this show. Child me loved it. I love this show. Why was I- the dad so much older? Why was the dad so much older? It's, he looks like the grandpa. It's very, right. it's all I can think about. Yeah, You're yeah. absolutely right. He was too old for it, but he was just funny. He was like, what, a former uh, a baseball athlete, I believe. he. What, what, what sport did he play? Baseball. 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 He, was, he was a baseball he, athlete. He's got, he's very got baseball funny face. on the Johnny Carson show. Best so he, known for Miller Lite ads, probably. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> was and, he also in Major League? Was oh, he yeah. yes, the yes. coach? Yes. Yeah, no, he. Announcer. One of the announcers. The announcer. Yes. I love. The son of a bitch. He did Bob it. Son Buker. of a bitch. Yes. Um, yes. Just a bit outside. Yeah. Just <laughs> a bit outside. So uh, I'm going to have to say Mr. <laughs> Belvedere, including the actor who portrays him, uh, <laughs> delightful. Delightful mm-hmm. all around. Yeah. I haven't seen every episode, so I don't know how it, you know, how the story arcs exactly. Well, there's one episode but... where the kids do poppers and they go <laughs> <laughs> and they're trying to study for the test or something. Oh shit. no, there, I watched I watched a very special episode of Mr. Belvedere in my like emergency cram, and it involved the youngest child Wesley uh, learning that he was an accidental birth. Wesley and he runs away. <laughs> what? Yeah, Wesley. Um, he runs away from home, and he starts working at a diner at a bus station until his parents find him. Wow! And Mr. Belvedere gives up his uh, personal appearance in front of the Queen to be uh, to get the medal of like the Empire Order of the English Empire. And he's like, I'd miss anything for you because you're my weird butler child. And I don't <laughs> care. And we all love you. Uh, uh, by the way, thanks to TigerCat919 to cl- for clarifying this. There is also a molestation episode. Just so we know that Great. that is. Well, I missed yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah. It's all on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> Absolutely. Because M- Mr. Belvedere, unfortunately, is not streaming on anything. Uh, you can only buy the DVDs, so you have to go on YouTube. Unfortunately, we have not caught, uh, stirred enough awareness about the what Mr. About Mr. Coach? Belvedere. Uh, episodes. I don't think the, those are out yet either. Damn. Yeah, I know. Well, coach is a whole other thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are we ranking, Mr. Belvedere? I think we're high. A? I think A. Uh, I'm go okay, I'm going to go A. I'm okay. Gonna, yeah, what do you guys think? Are, think were you thinking Also, uh, th- there's a famous story where he sat on his own balls on set. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. My God. My How did we forget that? <laughs> Oh, wow. That, All right. Yeah. I'm going to take this time to say, hey, if anybody wants to sub to the channel, that's what we're doing here, man. Smash that sub button. We still have a sub balloon to give away. How many sub balloons do we have, Tirzo? We've got the chat veto, and I think one more sub balloon. If you want to gift five subs, you get your own personal sub balloon. Um, thank you so much, everybody. Smash that sub if button, please. If we get 10 more subs before we finish the stream, I will sit on my own balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm and also, willing to give, give up my today. body. 
<laughs> nice. support this network. We I give Mr. Belvedere an A. And mm-hmm. um, uh, what do we have coming up? Uh, Nisto. That's Italian for nothing. Oh, pun- Punky more Brewster. Mm. More so, just, just give, give, just put an orphan somewhere where they sh- in a house. And mm-hmm. comedy ensues. Yeah, 80, the 80s really was like the era of the orphan, right? Yeah, yeah, it really was. I think it's just a lot of writers t- just the, touching on their experiences after the yeah, war. Yeah, Matilda, you've got, <laughs> yeah. you know, I think it was Annie, uh, 80s. Yeah, just a lot of orphan situations. Dead Sam. Webster. Carolina is too good. Thank you so much, the Dead Sams. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for the uh, sub. Uh, uh, hell yeah, dude. Um,. Punky Brewster. Oh it's kind of tough for me. I just know Punky Brewster is this icon. It was kind of like not something I watched because of toxic masculinity. It was a girl for, show for <laughs> girls, for lowly girls. So I didn't really like, do you have a Punky Brewster? No. You were just busy watching a guy with a giant oversized pencil. <laughs> it's I'm just wearing a hat and a messenger bag and some suspenders. Uh, I may I have. And yes, there were clowns. Yes, there were clowns <laughs> on the show. Every yes, time, every were. week. And then a okay? woman with her breasts almost completely out of her shirt. That was the other thing going on. It's like you were there. <laughs> I watched a lot of, uh, which of a guy, I watched a lot of that high in college. I just get stoned <laughs> and I put that shit on. Uh, but anyways. Uh, I, you know, was, I, don't have, oh. I don't have any memories of Punky Brewster, to be honest. Very, very little. Yeah, uh, for I me, just, I feel like it meant a lot to people I knew, but I yeah. wasn't really like my thing. What about you, Jake? Yeah. Uh, I remember the cartoon more than the sitcom, <laughs> uh, which uh-huh. I feel like does not speak very strongly for the show's quality. Uh, someone in chat mentioned that there was an episode that tackled the Challenger uh, shuttle crash. Oh, and I was wow. like, oh, weird. So I Googled Punky Brewster, very special <laughs> episode. And Seriously. apparently... For Gen X, it wasn't that episode that traumatized them. I found a Reddit thread, and they're saying that the episode of Punky Brewster where her friend Cherry suffocated in an abandoned refrigerator traumatized them all. Amazing. Oh, the refrigerator episode. I think I've heard <laughs> you, of wait, this you one. Know I think you're thinking you're of Indiana like, Jones oh, yes. and the Temple of the Crystal yes. Skull or whatever it is. That was like an urban myth, right, from like the 80s that I uh-huh. read about. And it's not where... a myth. It's a thing. Yeah, it's, and oh, kids who get stuck. Have... They, now they have like ways that Regular newer thing. fridges get around this. But yeah, fridges and dryers, right? That was always the fear. Yeah, I guess so. Which is strange, but... Okay. Yeah, no, I'm glad that they had an episode to spread the awareness around, and it probably saved many lives. Sure. So there you go. Yeah, I mean, so I'm not going to give it a D. It won't traumatize you on purpose. Yeah. We're not going to give it a oh, D. God, oh, there you, you go. found it. You found <laughs> it. So oh, she's God. just dead in that picture? No, they find her at the last minute, but uh, throughout the episode, they show her slowly suffocating the whole time. <laughs> that's a situational comedy right there yeah i mean i i guess do we give it an s a c an s a c my thing is we, we've got to start shitting on stuff a yeah, little bit more I, I, i'll give it a c you know yeah, what i mean i think well a c versed, is fine yeah, yeah. all right fair, cool is it fair what does chat think yeah a lot of chat kinder bun bun says c as well so i'm gonna C's. go with that alley cat says i would go d i would even go d mm. wait we can go d let's give it a d we're not we don't give a fuck all about right. it it's it's yeah, not yeah. better than Alf. Somewhere <laughs> Celia Moonfry just gets a shiver down her spine. She doesn't yeah. know why. Well, there you go. Yeah. All right. I feel like again, this is like another one of those where it's like, I mean, come on. It's it's fun. All right. What's the next one? Let's first we should bring it on. It's okay. Cheers. <gasps> oh, Cheers! Like oh. in the world today takes everything you got. I mean. Take Best theme song, the uh, like I said already earlier, greatest uh, pilot and Wouldn't series finale like of all time. I when I had that nosebleed for like three two weeks of my life, and I was just sitting at home, just bleeding out of my fucking nose profusely. I remember I watched Cheer. Yeah, whatever, Deerzo. You know what? Uh, the only thing in Indiana that's worth seeing is a tire fire. I mean, it is <laughs> worthless. I watched all 11 seasons when I had COVID. <laughs> all 11 wow. seasons. And let me tell you, the theme song is really nice, but you have to fast forward through it or skip the intro because after 11 right, seasons, you you have, sometimes you have to go and you start screaming and crying. <laughs> You're like, no, where everyone knows your name. Plus, it, really it always sad. ends on that one creepy guy with the ears at the end of the theme song and it, he, that guy is haunting that guy is so fucking haunting never listen uh, to the theme song 
along alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the show's really fantastic. The show's so good. Everything about it. I mean, not only that, but I mean, what kind of a show, you know, and then you have a spinoff with Frasier. Which is is better. One of the best shows of the 90s. Yeah. I I never watched Cheers the whole way through. So, like, that was one I was eager to catch up on. And I was like, well, we got to see the first episode with Frasier. And he's introduced. He's Shelley Long's. I'm sorry, Diane. He's Diane's therapist from a mental institution, and they start dating? That is highly unethical. Oh, yeah. That is so incredibly unethical. They almost get married and everything. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. It's crazy. crazy. I know, right? And then we get a whole other 11 seasons of Frasier, which was fantastic. (laughs) That was a really fun thing for me. I mean, I just think Cheers goes down as one of the greatest sitcoms in all of time. So, yeah, it's an S for me, dog, for 80 sitcoms. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Let's do it. 80 sitcoms. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. But I want some more F's, dude. I want some more F's up on this fucking board. We're doing pretty good, though. It's nicely spursed out. Yeah, it's feeling good. I feel like we're not, yeah, we're not uneven, as uneven anymore all over the place. (laughs) Um, All right. What do we got next? Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm sorry. Marco Simple's just admitting some some very interesting stuff. Oh, what? I fucked my therapist, and I'm sure she was a Cheers fan, said Marco Simple's, which I'm I'm not even sure what's going on with that. But uh, listen, I obviously hold, and you know what it's like. You go to therapy, then it's, and they're immediately attracted to you because they get to know the real you. And they're like, God, I've never known such a beautiful soul. Yeah, I've definitely fucked all my therapists, Jake. I'm just saying, (laughs) I don't understand how it makes them them a Cheers fan. Maybe uh, you just get some like money off the session price, but you never fuck the therapist. Uh, for the dying, standards. for the dying beautiful said, loved this show, referring to my two dads, but was still like a C. It's kind of like that show that's, you know, it's on after the thing you were wanting to watch. Yeah, you stick around no. for it. Kind my of a two thing. dads, when my two dads came on, that was the that was like child me was like, oh, it's time to turn off the TV now. It's like bedtime. Yeah. 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 It's exactly. It's time or to cart- think of like cartoons have ended and mm-hmm. now, now I watched TV it. offers me nothing. I watched it for the first time today. For the first time ever. Oh, wow. I watched like three or four episodes. I have to say Paul Reiser did a great job. Uh, uh, what, what's her name? Um, yeah, man, Stacy uh, Keen. She she defense. Like they all did a great job. But you're right. It, as a kid, I probably wouldn't get too excited about it. But watching it, I'm just like, good job, everyone. Great writing. Great acting. But that's all it is. So right. you're right. It is Ooh. like a thing that's give, like produced and shown to you. And then you have to react to it. And that feels weird. And not our game. Can anybody explain the, the premise? Season. Yeah, what is the oh. yeah, what's the basic premise here? So the two men It's like they, two men and a baby, essentially. Yeah, or three men and a baby, yeah. Uh they they were like best friends growing up. They went to school together and then they both fell in love <laughs> with the same woman in Key West in nineteen seventy four, Florida. And uh she had I love a child. That they had to specify Key West. They're like they like did. even the most conservative state boomers are like, Well, it was Key West. <laughs> it was, it was Margaritaville. It. I mean, come on. And then um she passed away and in her will she bequeathed her daughter to these two men that she loved the same <laughs> summer around the time that she had her child or she conceived her kid and then you know you never find out in the end who's the real biological father it is also the same premise as Father's Day with Robin Williams that's crazy yeah. Tron Bear thank you so much for the sub I ain't missing the tears of a clown baby thank you so 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 much I uh, see I uh, I never watched the show but then I also read there's another detail where the judge that orders them to both take care of the girl is also their landlord? Yes, because she bought a, a bunch of buildings downtown for <laughs> auction. And she, and then when they asked if it was ethical or not, she said, sue me. And then laughed, and then she was on the show. So that's how it that's... works, guys. And this is New York City. I think it was set in New York City. All right. I'm, I'm, ca- I'm catching a lot of mids from people. I mean, do we even go C? Do we go lower than a C? I, Paul Reiser I, saves it a little bit for yeah, me. Yeah, he does a great job. It's a quintessential C show. I think it's just. Yeah. yeah. It's the best okay. C show out there. It's such to a be C. Honest. It's such yeah. a C. Go, yeah, right next to Designing Women. Perfect. I love it there. Absolutely perfect. All right. Moving right along. Emmanuel yes. Lewis. Oh, he's so adorable. And I was then there watching was Webster. him. Yeah, Webster is just so cute. Yeah, you were saying, yeah, you were watching Webster as I, I walked up in, in uh, the studio just now. And yeah. that's all you had to say. You were like, he's a magical boy. He's so cute. 
He is he is so cute. It makes me want to adopt immediately. Look at this. Look at that. There's no way he had a good childhood though in real life. I uh, mean, there's no oh, it's not no. possible. Yeah, he's I remember remember VH1. What what's that show that we all watched? That everyone watched? That's how I know about all these 80s sitcoms. Behind the uh, music and all that? Or? No, it's not behind the music. It's like remember the 80s or whatever. Oh uh, yeah, I love uh, the 80s. I love the 80s. That's how I know about all these shows because I was not <laughs> raised here. But I do remember watching about that and Webster uh, as he grew older and felt less cute, he did not enjoy being like carried around, but they would have to do mm-hmm. that on set just to make the scenes more move faster because his legs were too like Uh much smaller and so it would take a long time for him to go across the set so i do remember hearing about his um he was not very happy about filming but okay he was adorable (laughs) he was so cute i know i'm sorry i'm sorry it is and it does pass jake's test in the sense of it is just only one kid so that is that is that is an element jake what do you think jake jake it's on you what do you think about this um I don't, it feels like the Pepsi to different strokes is Coke. It feels <laughs> yeah, like Gary yeah. Coleman, the yeah. pretender. But, like, did Emmanuel Lewis ever, like, uh, he was in a Lil John video. I immediately had to pull up Wikipedia to find something <laughs> to Why talk about. Is he... I think he's alive and well, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I was For sure now. Oh, my God. Wait. I was wait, sure Can you dead. find his, uh, his debut single, City Connection? In ah. Japan, <laughs> he was a he hit number two on the Japanese uh, charts. Wow! With City Connection by Emmanuel Lewis. What? I need VH1 to release some kind of video collection of that show. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, there's horse punching. I don't know. That's Marco Simples again, though. I don't know what's going on. Uh, oh, okay. There you wow. go. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, I think you did jinx him. Yeah, nice city connection. Horse did punching is referring to Alex Karras, who played George, who was Mongo <laughs> in uh, ah, Blazing Saddles, and also played for the Detroit Lions, and is famous for throwing his helmet at a quarterback for throwing an interception. <laughs> That's that's good to know. That's important for this tier. Uh, that's grading. amazing. Yes. Mongo's great. All right, uh, what are we going with, guys? We're high I'm, on it, but not too high I'm on need it. Chat. I'm gonna need chat to intervene. I, chat. I agree with us, that too. Picks. Chat and or Eric. Chat. What do you got? I want to see. I just want to see it on the line right now. C C B C C C C C B B or C D D C D D C. Oh man, I don't think it's a D. C. I think it's a C. Nobody cares about Webster. Come on. (laughs) You see, there's James. James cares about Webster. Webster. James cares about Webster. We'll we'll give it a C then. C. Thank you. Ah. Woohoo! That's for you, James. (laughs) A tiny thank you from the production team. (laughs) Thank you for the C. All right. How do what? What do we got next? Yeah, oh, maybe. Yay. maybe. I was talking so, so about right. funny perfect strangers. Are we talking is because... A or S? Are we talking A or S? Well, first of all, I, I just want to say how funny good. it was that TGI Friday was like the kids' programming block early evening. I loved it. <laughs> my favorite thing to do was go get McDonald's <laughs> and go home and eat my McDonald's and watch TGI Friday and go to sleep and knowing I had this whole big fun Saturday ahead of me. And wow. I just loved how every show was like different families with kids you know, because it's a bunch of kids programming, and then you would just have these two bachelors, and I'm just this like little kid, and I'm just supposed to like. And I did enjoy them because, of course, but Balky, Balky is talked amazing. Funny. He talked exactly. Really He's funny. hilarious. He's very funny. But like the kind of guys they were living in the city, they'd be like fucking broads and like having. Larry drinking. wanted to be a photojournalist. That yeah. was his dream. <laughs> exactly. No, Marklin. I watched. I watched a couple of these uh, again for research this week. Marklin Baker is an incredible comedic actor. Uh, uh-huh. The guy, Larry, not Balky. That's Bronson Larry. Pinchot. Yeah, um, they're both fantastic. It's like, um, he, just in terms of raw talent, in terms of pure skill, I was in awe. The dude could sell a joke like it was nobody's business. He's great in succession. It's like, honest to God, just an incredibly, and like, it was joke-based. It You know, Balky <laughs> had an amazing game. Like, everything could, like go back to that 
tons of great physical comedy. It is solid. It is fucking solid. And people are bringing it up over and over again. Yes, and Family Matters was a spinoff from uh, from Perfect, Perfect Strangers. Strangers. So, and we love that, of course. Was it a We're... spinoff or was it like one of those backdoor pilot kind of things where they just like showed up and it's like, hey, the production company is also working on this? Probably. Possibly. But... Yeah, kind of like a King of Queens, uh, Everyone Loves Raymond kind of mm-hmm. thing. Kind of situation. Yeah. But either way, I think we're high on Perfect Strangers. It feels very A to me. If you want to say S, we can go there, but I just don't mm-hmm. think it's like an all-timer per I, se. I think it's an A because it is, the, uh, when I was watching it not that long ago, just for fun, uh, it, it's not as funny as you remember it. Let's just say that, mm. but it doesn't mean it's bad. It's still right. fun, and Balky's still fantastic. Don't be ridiculous. And Balky was accused of sexual assault by one of his co-stars. There you what? go. Yeah. Oh, then you can't oh, get well, away from it. It was the 80s, guys. It's a different time. Oh, Cocaine, boy. you know, it makes you go crazy. Oh, no. you know, don't talk about it to your so hard. I'll lay off. It was All still right. wrong. It's just... <laughs> We just didn't talk Why? about it. Why? Really? <laughs> I, I had no idea. I'm just getting this information right now. Guys. Calls it Larry. Cocaine. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about it for a Putting second. Okay. Pinch it, and pinch show. Let's. Uh, <laughs> we should not really be going in defense of cocaine. No, no I'm not defending it at all. <laughs> I'm just saying, it, it, you know. All right, let's do. We're for cocaine here. Yes. So is yeah. it an A? All right, Hilaire Satan says still an A. Let's keep all it an right. A. All right, we don't, we don't feel good about it. No, but we're no. gonna do it. Is this the precedent yeah. we're setting before Cosby yeah, Show? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, Interesting. Well, we're gonna get there. Uh, really all right. There. What's next? Oh, silver, silver sp- spoons. I think I called it just spoons earlier. I forgot it was called silver yeah, spoons. Yeah, it's a bit of a dark hole for me. That's the one that you can really sleep, you know, slip through the cracks on that silver one. Silver spoons. I feel like was the kind of show that you, I, I, I had. Yeah, it's not like a big show. It's not going to be. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't be higher than a B. But I do remember like being surprised at how much I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know what? I, mm. I. Tried to watch it, I didn't get into it, so I can I can see why you would enjoy. Like I just couldn't. I stopped. But I don't remember halfway. anything about it. I just remember that I didn't dislike it. I just yeah, remember like. But yes. I guess I mean That's I also what had Silver a, Spoons is about. I had yeah. a childlike way of seeing everything though, so I was like enjoying things more than you know I should have probably. <laughs> like I had bad taste. I had a kid's taste. Were you taking a lot of Nyquil at that time? Cocaine. I mean, I was doing a lot of cocaine. I was, you know, I was, I got it out of my system early. I got all that stuff in. Mm, um, thank you for the spoon. Yes, yeah. thank you for the prop comedy. <laughs> Tears up. Appreciate that. Always yeah. a good time. She's in got a spoon ter- for each one of, of us. <laughs> because that's what we're going to do. We're all going to do a mountain of coke at the end of this just to keep in theme. Sure. Yes. I've never tried it before. We got to, yeah. uh, this is the first for everything. <laughs> <laughs> On a right. very special episode thread, uh, apparently there was an episode of Silver Spoons where Ricky goes deer hunting, shoots but does not kill the deer, and then cries as he goes to finish it off. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> okay. I love that shit. All right. Then. All right. Uh <laughs> I don't know. I think we got to go low because no one remembers anything about it. Even yeah. though I was yeah. like, oh, I remember kind of yeah. being positive on it. but I, wa- even- I watched a ton of it and no idea. Wow. The kid grew up to be a dickhead, says Torgo. I trust yes. Torgo on these things. <laughs> All right. Are it we is a, go? That is actually very Do true. Do we go? I don't think yes. it's an F. Should we put it a D for no one knowing and remembering anything yeah. about it? All right, yeah. D. Yeah. We'll put D. it there. Also, Ricky Schroeder became a right-wing creep. That's what it is. He turned out go. to be a dickhead. Dude, yeah. I love it. Every single show, though. I mean, that's every show. Mm-hmm. Every show, someone was awful. Because back then, if you were in Hollywood, especially if you were on like a sitcom, so your life is meaningless and you're just making <laughs> millions of dollars. You don't read. You're just going to be a know? monster. Yeah, yeah, you don't do anything. You, you just figure out ways to hurt, hurt specifically, people. Specifically, you stop getting work in Hollywood. And uh, one political faction offers you a very convenient story on why they're all working against you. Mm, one yes. Very convenient reason. <laughs> all right. What's next? Oh. Growing pain. This is a classic. A classic. I remember Do we watching count Kirk this. Cameron as a dickhead? He's like, Yo, he's like he's the too biggest. wholesome <laughs> in his dickheadness. I love the Saving Christmas, right? He did Saving Christmas. Yes, he produces and sometimes stars in a lot of this garbage. That is like the Christian <laughs> propaganda stuff. I almost want to do a full reset of this tier list, and we only rank based on like the people involved and their personal <laughs> lives. 
You know what I mean? I mean, it kind of sometimes goes together, as we will find as out very soon. As we're about to soon, find out very, very soon, soon in about one or two You can't entries. separate the art from the artist every <laughs> single fucking time. Yeah. Um... Kirk Cameron is a Christo fascist. I know that. <laughs> Delight, we, we know this. Delighting Dale. We've known this for 20 years. We've known it for a very long time. Oh, yeah. Well, I kind of <laughs> like that about the show. I give it an A. <laughs> <laughs> I just like when people spice up life a little bit. That guy's a crazy <laughs> asshole. Save Your Christmas is nuts. Have you mm, seen it? Yeah. That fucking breakdancing yeah. scene? Kirk Cameron's flavor of asshole is the kind of asshole we wish all the assholes were. Just yeah. Like <laughs> I either want Kirk Cameron or Chet Hanks. Yes. None of, the, none of the other ones. That's true. That's my... my uh, Such a milk toast, uh, fascist kind of Christian. Yeah, uh, the whole thing. Also, yes, uh, Delighting Gale Plays says, also the show gave the Carolyn actor an eating disorder. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Also, the child, the small child here, is yep. the voice of Ellie in The Last of Us. Oh, and she's oh. on a critical role now. Oh, awesome! Wow. Oh, that's cool. Good so, her. and Alan Thick was all right. So. Hell yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> did right. a good job. I like Last of Us. I think Growing Pains gets some get some love. I'd say yeah. probably around a B. I, I guess not an A because none of us are like, oh, remember that episode? Yeah, no, all right. not even. Yeah, I honestly think C if it's just that mediocre. I might even go there. All right, C. Yeah, why Fuck not? It. Yeah, let let's the world do that. burn. Yeah. All right. People are mentioning <laughs> that uh, one of the. There was a child, annoying child friend character played by uh, Andrew Koenig named, the character's name was Boner. The character's That's name was That's right, Boner. the best friend. There yeah. you go. Well, mm -hmm. let's talk about now one of the most prolific serial rapists <laughs> in American history <laughs> with uh, the just, uh, <laughs> next entry, oh my the God. Cosby Show. Just, now, what's crazy oh, is about, the apologists. about five, ten years ago, <laughs> about five, ten years ago, I would have given this show an S, absolutely, uh -huh. yes. for its representation. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I mean, great episodes, great writing, <laughs> all of that. Good stuff. <laughs> right, right. Lisa Bonet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, incredible. But it's in, it's amazing just how much sin and crime and horror. How many minutes can, can you do. get through? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. wondering what the what the chat has There's, to say about this. And, and by the way, there is an entire episode about how he was putting, he was he, they have a cookout and he drugs mm -hmm. the meat and it makes everybody horny. I'm not fucking oh, kidding that's you. that's right. It's totally, he, he, he. His barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. it's the barbecue oh, sauce. Gosh. And he drugs the barbecue sauce and it makes everybody amorous. And then they all, <laughs> oh, yeah, God. it is wild. It is wild. Mm. Um, so let's go with F, uh, we F. Got, F. I can't. F, I can't. F, I, can't. I, can't even, I couldn't even watch it. I can't even type it on my computer. It's just a little uh, too much. Too much. He, yeah, he played an OBGYN who worked from home. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's in, insanity. On. It's insanity. Oh. That's horrible. Why? I mean, it's just all the signs were there. Yeah, like if Ted Bundy had a sitcom in the 60s, exactly. Oh, the quantum bike. tits is using their veto balloon to bump Small Wonder oh. up to D so that Cosby Show can stick and be alone at F. <laughs> Man, yes, by quantum do tits, it. your do voice it. is heard. Yes. You could have done the most psychotic thing ever, and I'm so glad you did it. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know. You, really, you had the power. I was like, what? Yeah. Um, what veto balloons do we have left? What are we working with? I have one. Uh, Jake has I have one. Mine. You know, before we rank, we give Golden Girls Whoa, an absolute Whoa, three whole S. balloons. Tirso, how do you do it? <laughs> Absolutely. If somebody else uh, uh, gives five subs, you will also get a veto balloon mm. of your cho and, uh, of your choosing. You just get the one veto balloon. You choose mm. chosen for you. <laughs> but you can veto any show you want, up or down. Um, I like that the they're agreeing one with more us. Time just to like, just yeah, so people can get a, you know, see if there's any injustice they want to like correct. I think we're Maybe doing pretty good. Maybe you're a writer die Belvedere head. Maybe you think Bulky has got the moves and the swagger to make it S tier. This is your time to make your voice heard. All right then. I'm, you know what? I'm using mine. <gasps> oh, what are you going to use it for? I think Night Court is an S sitcom. I think it is one of the it best sitcoms. It is already sitcoms. an S. It is oh, it is an S? S? Oh, I thought that was an A. I need new glasses. 
All right, bump it down. Oh, then no. bump it down. No, no, pop his balloon. All right, Alf. I want Alf. No, no. I want Alf up one. I want no, Alf up to see. No, no, no. I want Alf mind. up to see. He has risen. He has risen. He's up to see. <laughs> yeah, I want Alf. Oh, Gloomy. Who did it? Gloomy, Gloomy Ghost. Ghost step with what? the five Stepping gifted up. subs. No. Can you take Alf to B? Can no. you take Alf to B? No. <laughs> Can you take Alf to B? You're ruining your own franchise. Can you do it? Who are you doing, Gloomy Ghost? Can Let us know in chat. Can you Alf up higher? All right. We don't know if oh, Alf's wow. going to B yet. Gloomy okay. Ghost is torn. Gloomy, Gloomy Ghost, Ghost is needs torn. A needs a second. Okay. okay. Before we get uh, to Gloomy obviously Ghost. Obviously, we, th we know the last one on the list is S. So before we do that, hold on. Let me see the tier list one more time. I need to, I need to get things shaken. Um, to be, to be. <laughs> oh no. Whoa, no! I'm tempted. I'm, te uh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. <laughs> uh, let me. I'm sorry, Eric. Can you show me one more time? One more time. I need to see this list. I got to deliberate. Oh, mm. this is. Good. I I mm. like this. I'm I between, think this is good. And Gloomy Ghost is between Alf up for the bit and Charles in charge down because fuck Scott Bayo. It's up to you, Gloomy. All you I think. I think uh, Punky Brewster up to see. Wow. Up to see. There you okay. go. <laughs> Tears are For trying the free to wow. An accidental <laughs> popping happened. Wow. Alf is as good as Punky Brewster, apparently. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, let's get it. While we give Gloomy Ghost a moment to think, let's, uh, let's uh, do this last one. Carolina, why is Golden Girls an S-tier sitcom? I mean, because you got four women, four legends. They've been around since for literally forever. Vaudeville, all the time. They they do everything. They're funny in every way. Obviously, this is how you sitcom. I believe that one of the writers, or the original writers, creators, oh, he, he watched his his mom and her neighbor friend like talk and he realized like this is the kind of show I should be writing for about like four women in Miami just kind of dealing with stuff and it turned out to be brilliant and everything about it the writing the everything I remember making my younger brother watch this and we would watch this dubbed in Spanish still very funny and we would watch this and he would laugh and I'd be like ha ah, I knew you'd like this and he's like yeah because the writing is fantastic it is it's, it's fantastic very and good sitcoms no lies detected, by the way, Carolina. Spot on, 100%. Yeah, totally. All these actresses, like, sitcoms are a form of theater. They are, like, performing in front of live audiences on these, like, uh, static sets for the most part. And, like, they are, they ride or die on the skills of the performers and the sharpness of the writing. And Golden Girls just has it. Every character has an amazing game. Rose is an uh, idiot from St. Olaf. Dorothy is the snarky lesbian. Uh, Blanche is <laughs> fucks. Lesbian. Blanche fucks so much. Yep. God, Blanche just fuck. There's she like was uh, my we favorite. watch one episode. Also, one I have to say real quick, like Jake. Sorry to interrupt you, but Gloomy Ghost says fuck Scott Bayo. Charles' charge is All down. Right. All right. Looks like Charles is not in charge. Oh, well, I I didn't like how they dumped ah. that family after the first season, so I'll give it that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God. There, oh, it's uh. It was a later episode, and it was they were uh, Blanche was accused of murder. Yes, accused of murder. That's season and four, by the way. Blanche says like it's okay if I go like to prison. I can take it. I'll be able to handle myself. And Dorothy's like, you know, you'd go to a women's prison. And Blanche just goes, oh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> uh, also, if we're talking very special episodes. Tons of like incredible. Uh, and yes, oh, of right. Course. Yes. Well, uh, yeah, right. I think they deleted that from the Hulu they streaming did. for a while. They yes. did. Yeah. Uh, season two, Dorothy's <laughs> friend Jean too. comes out as a lesbian uh, in uh, Lebanese. Sister of the Bride season Fantastic. Six. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, Blanche's brother comes out as gay. Uh, there was like a lot of awareness of um, HIV. Like they, yeah. you know. They did like real shit. It's so fucking good. It's airtight writing. It's it's maybe one of the most watchable, most holds up to this day shows ever like from this era. 
I, right. I agree completely. Even when I was watching it back then, like Nick at Night and all that stuff in the 90s, and I'm watching this, and the jokes were pretty old. Like, the references could be pretty old. You just, you know, eventually wait 30 years, and then you Google it, and then you realize why it's funny. So it's still funny. Completely. they land the jokes. And uh, my daughter loves it, even. Uh, yes! We have, I, oh. I have a, a four uh, gold, uh, Golden Girls stimulus wine glasses, That's and true. I choose the glass based on who I feel like that day. Um, so if and I'm feeling sassy, wife, I, yeah. We saw a drag uh, Golden Girls show in New York. It was, uh, there's a whole cult. It's, it's S tier. It's That's totally become saying. so beloved on the level of cheers. It is absolutely S tier. Give it an S. Yes! Yes! They All each right. won an Emmy, by the way. There you go. All right, let's go through it. I might need some help with the, the names here. At F tier, we've got Cosby Show. Then we've got at D, <laughs> the very forgettable Silver Spoons and Small. What is it again? Small Wonder. Small Wonder. Waking Horror. A nightmare <laughs> yeah, it should be called Waking nightmare. Horror. One of the worst things I've ever watched. Uh, at C tier, we've got Designing Women, My Two Dads, Webster, Growing Pains, Alf, Magical at C, <laughs> Punky Brewster, and Charles in Charge. Scott Bayo. B tier, we've got, uh, is it Growing Pains? Or, no, no, no. It's, uh, what's his name? It's family the ties. It's Family Ties. All in the Family. And bo- uh, all in the Family and Bosom Buddies. And, yeah. And then uh, at A tier, uh, who's the boss? Who's the boss? We've got uh, what was what's different uh, strokes. Different strokes. Thank you, J- J- Facts of Life, Mr. Belvedere. You need glasses. I do. And Perfect Strangers. And at S tier, <laughs> we've got Night Court. We've got Cheers. No, 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 no. We've no. got Golden Girls, and we've got Alf to no. close it out. No, ladies and gentlemen. No, hold in, hold in, chat. The general chat does have a veto. I put up a poll. They're saying Alf and Scott Bayo are still on the chopping block. We're going to see down, what's Charles up. down, Alf down, oh, Charles down. Oh, really? Okay. All right, let's see what happens. Ooh, right looks like now, Charles is the going to Bayo Hado is very strong. <laughs> Bayo Hado is trending. Well, I like while, that. While, uh, while this is getting sorted out, thanks again, everybody, for joining us for Tears of a Clown. Thanks for our producers uh, uh, working there. Uh, t- uh, first of all, uh, James, James and Eric. And then we've got, thank you, Tearzo. Thank you also, Carolina, for joining us. As always, my co-host, Jake. Please smash that sub button. Yes. Keep watching Tears of a Clown. We'll be back next Wednesday and um, I'm holding you know and I just keep it real you know what I'm saying just ignore all that stuff I was saying you earlier keep or whatever. Real <laughs> I keep it real a little bit you know what I mean all right looks like Charles in charge is going down one let's just Why go not? ahead and call it they dumped that family at the end of the first season and that yep. guy from Macamee was in it and he was there fantastic and the guy from Macamee by the way Jonathan Ward uh, now owns a car dealership in Southern California <laughs> And he Whoa. brings out the wheelchair and poses for photos when fans ask for them. That's awesome. That's I incredible. love that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. Thanks, everybody, for joining. We'll see you later.